some of you are going to like 8.4 more than others. 8.4 is one of the more practical. A lot of people are kind of like, when am I going to ever use this? This is one that I use fairly regularly, and it's mostly related to like calculating tips in a restaurant. So kind of the guaranteed question you're going to get is to figure out like how much should you tip somebody if you're tipping 15%, because that's kind of the normal. So that one's coming. Be ready for it. But, um, but this section here, the whole point is how do you figure out a percent uh, mentally? And you're not going to get stuff probably like... Um, 37%, although you could do it, I could teach you how to do it, but it's going to be probably more normal numbers, like multiples of 10, or multiples of 10 and 5, or, you know, something along those lines. Um, but you can do some weird ones. So let's just kind of go through. If you have 50%, 50% is what as a fraction? Uh, <laughs> one half. Yep. So it's going to be, it's going to be one half. So if you're trying to find 50%, so what's 50% of, say, 20? 10. So most of you probably didn't do 1 half times 20. You probably just divided by 2, right? Maybe divide by 2. So if you need 50% of something, you just divide it by 2. If you need 10%, what's 10% of 20? Can anybody do that? 10% of 20? Yep. You could, I wouldn't write this down. This is the long way. There's a shortcut. But 10% is going to be the same as 1 over... 10, right? 10% 10 is 0.1, which is 1 tenth. I wouldn't write this in the upper right. But 10% is 1 tenth. If you would do 1 tenth times 20, or 20 over 1, that becomes 1 times 20, which is 20, over 10 times 1, which is 10. you agree that just equals 2? So if we start with this number 20, and again, I wouldn't be writing this, but if we start with this number 20, what do we do to change it to 2? You move the divide by Dividing by 10 is the same as just moving the decimal point one to the left. So if you want 10% of a number, you could say move, move, decimal. I would write this, one spot. If you want to, you could show to the left. It's supposed to be an arrow to the left or something, but move it to the left. I was just trying to show why, maybe it'd make more sense. If moving the decimal one spot to the left is going to be 10%, if you want 1%, be moving the decimal, how many spots? The most important Not number? Duh. 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 Or two. So move decimal, decimal, two spots. I'll pick maybe a different number, 375, you know. Um, what's 1% of 375? Yep, 3.75. You just move it two spots. It'd be 3.75. We okay on those? Yes, sir. Right. Then, I maybe should have put in here, well, 15%. And this is going to be, I'll maybe do this in, in the asterisk. By, I'm going to ask you this one for sure when we have this little test thing. Um, so 15% is going to be 10% plus. What percent do I need to add to 10% to get 15%? Five. Five. And 5% is related to 10 how? Because they're times two. Or it's, it's 5 times 2 or half of 10. So if I take 10%, which I can get this way, and then if I do half of that again, half of 10%. I have my 15%. And I maybe should have done those examples right away, but this kind of gives us a chance to kind of go back through them. So 50% of 40 would be... 20. Because to get that, what we do is we take, we divide the number by 2. 40 divided by 2 gives me 20. Fair enough? 10% of 40 is going to be 4. Because we start out with our decimal point right there. For 10%, we move it one spot to the left. So we move it over to there. So that just equals a 4. 1% of 40 is going to be 0.4. Point four, yep. We do two jumps to the left, which puts my decimal point there in front. So we get point four, or point four zero. Still good? So last one here, if we do 15% of 40, well, you want 10% of 40, which is? Four. Maybe I'll write it this way. We want 10% plus half of 10%. That's kind of what we're trying to do. So 10% of 40 is? Four. 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 Because we move the decimal point one place to get 10%, kind of what we did up here. <laughs> so four. And now what's half of four? Two. 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 So then total there would be six. Six. 
So this one right there is going to be six. Yeah. And that can be how that can be how you can figure out the tip at a restaurant if you want a fifteen percent tip. So. All right. So if we would go and maybe I'll leave these kind of still in view. Um, so if we want to find out ten percent of twenty four dollars and eighty cents, ten percent we move the decimal. Two, two places. Yep. One spot, right? One spot for ten percent. So the, yep. So we take move the decimal point one place. So two point four eight. And if that last number hadn't been a zero, you know, for a, since it's money, you typically just round it to two decimal places. So if I'd had a two point four eight one, you know, you just round it to two point four eight. You might have to round up to two point four nine. Fifteen percent. Uh, fifteen percent of this. So first we do ten percent, and ten percent is one half. Two point six fifteen. Two point six. I'm maybe going to do two sixty. <laughs> plus half of ten percent. So half of two dollars would be one dollar. Half of sixty cents is thirty cents. So a dollar thirty. We add those two together. We get three dollars in. Wait, what? Wait, how did you get that? Ninety cents. Okay. All right. Hear me out. So we want to take and cut this number in half. Agreed? Oh. So a lot of people just think of it right in, in one whole number divided oh, by two. So you do two I, divided by yeah, I did like $2 divided by two gives me $1. And then this many cents divided, divided by, two by two gives you that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. If you'd rather do the $2.60 divide the whole thing by two in your head, do it. I just find if I chunk it up, it's a little faster for me. But. All right, 70%, this can be re related to what Brady had asked. So if we want 70%, we could say that's 50% plus 20%. 20 And I'm going to write it this way, plus 10% plus 10%. Plus 10 but it's totally 50% plus 20 So now what's 50% of 240? 120. 120, exactly, because 50%, we just cut it in half. You guys all tracking with that? Okay. Now what's 10% of 240? 10% is the... 120. Yeah. 20. 24. Yeah. 24. Because 10%, you move the decimal point one place. So 24. Plus another 24. So 120 plus 24 is 144. So you have 144. You could... Wait, but how did you get 120? Okay. 240 divided by 10. I mean, not 50. Okay. All right, let's pause. Perfect. So for this last one, then, we could do 10% plus 1% plus 1%. And 10% is? Six. Six. We move it one place. 1% 1 is two jumps. Point six. So 10%, I'm sorry, 1% then is 0.6 plus 0.6. And now we just need to add 6 plus 0.6 plus 0.6. Plus point six. Yep. Yep. Six and then point one two. Yep. Oh no, not six point one two. That is wrong. I think about it. Uh oh. Oh Because if we would do point six plus point six, that's going to give us a two, and you carry the one, right? Yeah. So it's seven. One point two. Yep. So it's six plus one point two. So easy mistake. I fell for it for a second too. 7.2 would be the final answer. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. That's the section.